Today we have another tragic story of Chicago's violence. Lou Dirk, the people's champion, the voice. His brother D Thang has been shot and killed outside of a nightclub in Chicago. The violence in Chicago is completely out of hand. Lou Dirk keep losing people who are close to him. Seems like everyone he associates with or everyone who's close to him, they keep getting smoked. You know, this guy 051 Melly, he shot three people for Lou Dirk. He shot his brother, he shot his cousin, and his manager. My best suggestion to Lou Dirk is to get out of the gang life. If you down with old block BDs, you still down with that? You need to just leave it alone completely. Stay out of Chirac, stay in ATL where you live at. Always keep security or keep your team with you. You know, people who's going to protect you. Because obviously you're a target if everyone around you keep getting shot. And people who are close to you. You know, and it's messed up. Because now this guy probably feels like you don't have no one else in his corner. Because all his friends and his close peoples keep getting killed. Now it's known that Lou Dirk and O Block, the BDs, they've been having heavy beef with 051 Young Money, which is a renegade set. It consists of Mickey Cobras, renegade BDs, they call themselves BDK, Black P Stones, and GDs. Now 051 Young Money, they're known for having a lot of shooters, and they're one of the biggest sets. What I'm thinking is that if anyone was to get at the thing, it would most likely be them because of the history that they have, you know, going after O Block and the BDs. If it was any gang from out of Chicago that touched Lou Dirk's brother, it was allegedly them. Allegedly. They're most likely to do it 90% more than any other set, any other gang because of the history of bad blood between the two. Which is why Vaughn, he hated Melly. Because Melly was giving him the business. You know, he was smoking everybody close to Lou Dirk and related to him. And it's alleged that Melly, he slept with Vaughn's sister, Kayla B. That's why Vaughn really hated him. Because he smashed his sister. But at this point, I could just imagine what Dirk is going through. You know how many tears he done shed? Seems like every year, someone who's close to him died. He have to shed more tears. He have to pay for funerals. You have to make arrangements. He have to do this and do that. It can be very exhausting. Because I know all Dirk been trying to do is help people, putting people on, and helping his team to make money so they could take care of their family. And why he gets back in return is just death and destruction. You know, bad luck. Everything's going wrong. But sometimes it be like that. You know, it's a part of life. You can't have all the good. But your job as a person in life is to make sure that the good outweigh the bad. If you could do that, then you pretty much can have some kind of happiness in your life. Huh? We gonna break then we gonna break this. We gonna break this. Alright, look, come on, wait on you. How you bumming? How you bumming, Shorty? Okay. Okay. What's it going to take for you guys to be okay tonight and to stop this chaos? It ain't me. I, it's not me. I'm going to let y'all know that now. It's not us guys neither. And I'm glad that y'all said that. It's not us. It's the police. This the madness that they spark up. This is what they encourage. This is what they provoke. This is what you get out of you taking some a loved one from someone. This is what you get. You get a lot of people that's hurt, and they can't fit it the right way. They can't no longer depend on the police to be here to protect us like they say they gonna do. So this is what you get. And no, it's not gonna end today. I can't tell you it's gonna end tomorrow. I don't know when it's gonna end. But it's for y'all to start. We're not the ones that's killing us. Y'all killing us. We can't make a change if y'all don't change. 